Hi. Thank you very much for uh, coming. Thank you, Ben, for, for saying that. Um, thank you to the Lannan Foundation as well for inviting me and uh, for supporting me uh, or showing me support for uh, a lot longer than, than pretty much anyone else. I was, um, I was remembering on the train ride over here, over and down from uh, Iowa, that uh, when I was in college, and uh, trying to figure out whether I was a writer or could be a writer and uh, what it meant to be a writer and what a writer was, um, <clears throat> that uh, I wasn't at a school that uh, was particularly supportive. It was a great school and I had great instructors, but we didn't have a writing program and not much of a of a writing community. Uh, but what, what we did have, I remembered, was um, in the library an entire set of the Lannan Readings and Conversation series, that VHS uh, collection, which I, I borrowed uh, and would bring up to a small windowless uh, AV room to watch for hours at a time and whole afternoons trying to learn what a writer was and uh, what they looked like and um, what they sounded like and whether I had anything in common with these people. Uh, so it's a great honor to be here, especially since um, often while watching those videos, I convinced myself that to be a part of this series meant that you had somehow made it as a, as a writer. So by that logic, it is all downhill um, <laughs> from this moment on. Uh, but it, it also, it, it, was, it was probably at the time the best education I, I could have gotten because it was me alone in a room kind of in conversation with um, these great writers uh, who I then would go seek out and read up on. Uh, so it's, in, it's incredibly cheesy for me to say this, but I'll say it because I'm, I'm feeling it, uh, that um, I'm honored because uh, the Lannan Foundation has actually been supporting me for a lot longer than they think they have. <laughs> as goofy as that sounds. Uh, when I got to graduate school, I finally found a, a community of, uh, of writers, a great writing program to be a part of, uh, but um, still not that much support, because I, I wasn't really interested in writing the kind of nonfiction that uh, was popular at the time. Um, I had great instructors, uh, but, but not that much support among my peers. But there was, there was one uh, student um, from the poetry side of the program who uh, I didn't know very well at the time, but uh, she came up to me one day with a book in her hand and um, uh, handed it to me and, and she said, I've been reading your stuff. She didn't say essays, she said stuff, uh, which was fine, she was at least reading it. Uh, and she handed me this book and, and she said, I think you'd really like this. I think you have something in common with this writer. And it was a book that had just come out. And uh, I read it, I took it home and devoured it because I, I immediately did find kinship with, uh, with this book and uh, with this writer. Uh, what I want to ask you is about a mountain is it's not just about a mountain. <laughs> uh, you, you touched on this a little bit in your introduction, but it would seem that Yucca Mountain alone would constitute a book. It's, it's a huge topic and it allows you to essentially touch on our fear of extinction and get into science and uh, geology, that it could have been enough. Mm -hmm. So how was it that so much else could belong in this book? And what was that process like for you to make this book about so many things, about Levi, about your, your mother, about, about Yucca? 
how is it or, or why is it? Or how did it come to exist as a book? Because I think if you re were to read a description of that, it wouldn't seem as though these things go together. Oh, sure. Um, you know, the, it's a fantastic question, and I don't have a fantastic answer for it. Um, though I do have a long answer. Uh, <laughs> um, and, and that answer is that I, I don't think the book is about Yucca Mountain, though ostensibly it is, and it is ostensibly in, in part about Levi. For me, the book is about what propelled my research and my writing it was um, the idea of the, the uselessness of information after a, a certain point. And especially um, while researching Yucca Mountain and discovering, which I wasn't expecting when I started looking into Yucca, discovering lots of scientific studies that were being done by the government's own scientists that were completely contradicting each other in terms of their findings. Um, this idea that Yucca Mountain is supposedly, they say, the most studied piece of land on the planet at this point, that we have surrounded ourselves with information about Yucca, facts about Yucca, data, um, armed ourselves with it, and yet we still really can't agree whether or not it's an appropriate place to store nuclear waste. When And that might be true of any place in the world. It, yeah, it probably right. is. And, and when, when, um, when Levi then came into my consciousness and I ended up by necessity learning about suicide not just in Vegas, but suicide in general. Um, and then ultimately meeting Levi's parents very soon after Levi died, um, who were just shell-shocked. Um, those two subjects started speaking to one another because suicide too is, a, is well, suicide is the ultimate unknowable, mm -hmm. I think. Um, I haven't ever experienced a suicide not, not until very recently, but it, uh, it seems that you're left with only, only questions. And